we've looked at some foundation models for reflective practice. Um, now we need to look at some critical models. Again, we'll be reviewing these um, um, briefly and looking at them in more detail in a later lecture. Um, perhaps the most significant critical model is uh, Stephen Brookfield's critical lenses. Um, he said that teachers look through different glasses, different eyeglasses, in order to reflect. And he identified these four different lenses as our own view, our own autobiography. He also said that um, we can look at what happens in the classroom from the student's point of view and also from our uh, colleagues' point of view. And we can also look at um, what happens in our teaching from a theoretical standpoint. And he very conveniently labelled these as the self lens, our own viewpoint, the student lens, the viewpoint from the students, uh, the peers lens, in other words, the viewpoint of our colleagues, and the theory lens, which is why it's called the four lens approach. Um, despite the fact that uh, you know, teachers' professional experience um, can often be uh, considered as um, a little bit invaluable from a theoretical point of view, Stephen Brookfield makes uh, a significant point in saying that the, the, the experience of the teachers, the autobiography of the teachers, is really the, the foundation point and the most important aspect of being a teacher. He says that as uh, teachers we must consider this to be more important sometimes than the actual theories. And he goes on to say that um, these four lenses are very important because the most important thing that the teacher can do in terms of teaching is trying to get inside the students' heads. What are they thinking about learning? What are they thinking about being in the classroom? trying to understand how they're learning. Um, and therefore, he made a number of significant points in terms of these four lenses. Um, one point is that he says that reflective practice and teaching actually becomes um, about identifying power and how power can support and also hinder the educational process. He also goes on to say that what the teacher needs to do, therefore, is to challenge certain assumptions in order to address that power, that power imbalance that may, ex uh, uh, that may be in the classroom. Um, and in this slide, he came up with a number of very useful frameworks um, for the reflective practitioner. One is the critical incident questionnaire. Um, it's a series of questions that the teacher can ask themselves um, in order to uh, reflect on uh, the teaching in the classroom. And he also uh, came up with the critical practice audit, the CPA. And perhaps most significantly, he also identified how the critical incident questionnaire can be used as a framework for a teacher's journal writing if they're keeping a reflective journal. So the critical incident questionnaire has a number of significant questions. Um, for example, at what moment in class did you feel most engage, engaged with what was actually happening? This is a significant question for the teacher to consider. At what moment in class were you most distanced, most removed from what was happening? Um, what action that anyone took, whether it was a teacher or the student, um, was most helpful or most productive? And what was most puzzling or uh, problematizing? And also, what surprised you most as a teacher in terms of what you did in the classroom? What um, were you not expecting? So the critical practice audit um, takes uh, a number of critical incidences, say two or three in a week, and uses the questionnaire to reflect on those incidences. Um, the idea is that uh, as a teacher you write a brief description about um, what happened in a particular incident 
and use those questions to reflect on the incident in detail. Um, part of the audit is also to reflect on your own assumptions as a teacher about what happened, to think about what were the interactions that generated a particular incident. And how you as a teacher challenged what was happening both with yourself and with the students. Um, part of the critical practice audit is also to think about the information, the evidence that you've got as a teacher and to check its accuracy. Are you really seeing what really happened or are you looking through your own lens, the self lens, the autobiographical lens, which is perhaps skewing the reality? What different perspectives, therefore, can you look at? And this is where the other lenses become important, the student lens and the colleagues lens, the peers lens. And also we mustn't neglect the theoretical, the theory lens that the teacher can use to get a different perspective on things. And so therefore what we see through these four lenses is a very critical approach, uh, self-critical by the teacher and critical of the processes which are taking place looking not only within but also without the school.